Hey everybody, Mr. McIntosh here, and I'm back to talk about the brand new 11.3.1 update. Wait a minute, weren't we here just a week ago talking about the 11.3 update? Yes, we were. Apple surprised us today with this update. What does it entail? Is it important to you? Well, I'm going to go over all the things you're going to need to know. The security parts of it, the Safari parts, the sizes, how long it takes to install, and we're going to talk about it all in under five minutes. Let's get started. Okay, the first thing we want to know is what is included in the 11.3.1 update and why would Apple release this update so soon after the 11.3 update? Well, I've got good news for you. Apple is really on the ball with taking care of security vulnerabilities when they are known to be out there in the wild. And this is what this update is about. It's focused around security. Apple says that they are aware of a report that these two vulnerabilities have been actively exploited in the wild. Let's take a look at that a little bit closer here. This is the macOS Big Sur 11.3.1 security content page that talks about the security fixes in the 11.3.1 update. And there's two very important ones for WebKit that we have to worry about. Apple is basically saying that these two vulnerabilities are being exploited in the wild right now. So the idea is, is that Apple found this out and it was reported by these two security researchers and they made a fix and they put it into this point release update and got it out there as soon as possible. And this is great because if we install this now, it can protect us against these vulnerabilities that are out there right now in the wild. That's why it's important. You might say, well, wait a minute. I didn't even get a chance to install 11.3 yet. No big deal. The good news is, is that it doesn't matter where you are in Big Sur updates, you will get all the fixes in the 11.3.1 update. And that's why the, the update size changes. And I'm going to show you this. This M1 Mac right here is on 11.3. So if you need to go to 11.3.1, the update is only 2.4 gigabytes in size. This M1 Mac here has 11.2.3. So to get to 11.3, it has to include all the fixes in 11.3 and the security fixes in 11.3.1, and now it weighs in at 5.7 gigabytes. So that's the explanation for the update sizes. So when I installed this, it takes a little bit of time to prepare on the M1 Mac. Once that's done and downloaded, it restarts to the installer like normal and takes about 15 minutes to install. So it's a pretty quick update. It's one of the smaller ones that are out there. So that's the update size. Now, the next thing we need to talk about is the update to Safari. We talked about WebKit. Now, if you look here, here, I've got a M1 Mac on 11.3.1 and I've got Safari here. And if we open it up and go to about Safari, we can actually see that it ends in dot six here. Now, if we open up one of the previous ones on 11.3, we can see that the Safari is version ends in dot three. So we can see that Safari definitely was updated here and most likely to take care of these vulnerabilities. So let's talk a little bit more about the update sizes. The good news is that Apple released immediately the full installer and I've got that here in my full installer database. I updated that with the build version and I'm still waiting on the app version. I'll update that as soon as I get it. And I also updated the Apple M1 full Mac OS restore database with the IPSW file. So that's all taken care of too. If you need that, just download that right there and everything is still signed as of this video recording here. The other thing is that I wanted to mention the versioning number. So when we got 11.3.1, the first number is the major number. So next year, or actually this coming year, when Apple releases macOS 12, that's what it's going to be. The next one is the minor, so 11.3. And usually we, the next number is a dot release or a point release, so it's 0.1. And the 0.1 usually releases anything that is a security-related fix or there's an emergency fix that needs to be put in like someone's reporting and after I installed the update, something bad happened. So those are what those point or dot releases are like the 11.3.1. So that's why the 0.1 release was released today because it was due to security. If you have an Apple Silicon M1 Mac, the firmware was not updated. So let me show you what that looks like here. You can see here that the minor releases are the only ones that get the firmware updates. So 11.1, 11.2 and 11.3. Any dot releases or point releases usually do not get firmware updates. And I did check and it's still 6.7.23. For the T2 Max, the Bridge OS update, if you have Intel Max, it was also the same version. It was not updated. And I always keep a track on that if, you, if you're curious about that. And that is the Mac OS 11.3.1 update in under five minutes. Catch you in the next video. Thank you.